You know, honey, I'm worried. When was the last time you saw Wegman? I think almost a little bit. That piss you off? I'm Cameron Bailey. That was just a, a clip from High Falls. We've got the director of the film, Andrew Zuckerman, with us, as well as Eben Backrack, one of the actors in the film. Welcome to the show. We also have Jay Rosenblatt, the director of Just Wanted to Be Somebody, and uh, Lila Zuck... Vandenberg. Van, I'm ben sorry. Vandenberg, Vandenberg uh, director of Bitch. I certainly won't forget the title. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew, tell us a little bit about High Falls. It's about a weekend at a couple's country house where their friend is up for the weekend and uh, the couples have the, the couple have individually both divulged secrets to their friend played by Evan and uh, we sort of experienced the weekend through his eyes and watch this couple sort of break down and not be able to communicate with each other and okay and Jay tell us about I just wanted to be somebody uh, well it's a kind of a documentary poem about Anita Bryant Come to the Florida sunshine tree for fresh taste and orange juice naturally. In the late 70s, Dade County passed this uh, gay ordinance giving uh, gay people rights to um, teach in schools, and she came out with this campaign to repeal the or ordinance. Because I dared to speak out for straight and normal America, because I dared to challenge the immoral influences of homosexual recruiters, and their protectors on the Metro Commission, I have had my career threatened. There's a quiet place to go when the day is done. Tell us a little bit about mining that, those old images and what you find in there beyond what was originally intended. I had access to her home movies, which is kind of rare to have this um, celebrity's home movies. Yeah. Great. Lila, um, I don't know if I want to make a jump from Anita Bryant to Bitch, but it seems like it fits somehow. <laughs> Tell us about Bitch. It's a sort of a punk rock comedy shot on 35 black and white. Um, a lot of music influences, and it's about a girl that uh, beats up posers. It's a superlative. Mom! The graphic novel's so much better. <laughs> it's called Burlesque. Uh, well, I guess... My intention was I wanted to make a really dark comedy, uh, something that combined physical comedy and funny dialogue, uh, because I see sort of tend to see one or the other, but not something that has both. But I definitely was very focused on just the act of making the short and, and the short for its own sake and wanting it to be a complete little story. So, right. Um, Evan, I wanted to ask you a question about acting specifically in a short film because I imagine that there are some things that change from features to shorts in terms of how you build a character, maybe the time you have to establish a character on, you know, on screen. How does it change from a feature to a short for you? I think why this movie works, if it does work, is because, uh, or one of the reasons is because uh, I do, we do have history, Maggie and Peter and myself, so uh, I think you have to work with what you have and in this situation we did have sort of a common history right sort of a um a way of being together which i guess is a shorthand in some right way. and that i'm sure that helps a lot oh yeah oh, listen yeah. thanks to all of you for coming in today to talk about your films the films again bitch i just wanted to be somebody and high falls all playing in the shorts program at the sundance film festival mm -hmm.